Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Hello and welcome back to The Print, where today we review a show that would shock you if you knew that it was shot in a filmmaker's backyard during lockdown. Tiny Creatures, a series of short nature films that has a National Geographic type of narration, was created and directed by Emmy-winning filmmaker Jonathan Jones, who is known for his work on BBC One's Planet Earth 2. However, with the use of green screen and CGI, there's no way you would have guessed that Jones filmed the entire series in his backyard in England. That too in just 27 days. The show is spread over eight episodes with each set in a different American terrain. It takes you from pre-made sets of Arizona, Florida, New York City, Louisiana, Texas, Washington, Minnesota, and even New Hampshire. And each episode follows a different furry creature as they adventure through these places, either by seeking out food, evading predators, or some even falling in love. For starters, the show begins in Arizona with the journey of a desert kangaroo rat who encounters a diamond rattlesnake, a tarantula, later a scorpion mouse and even a majestic hawk. Now, one thing to remember about the show is that it's not entirely binge-worthy and the narrator's voice can get a little monotonous. But what's amazing is how real the creatures look and how up close and personal they appear on the screen. We're talking high-definition cinematography and extreme attention to detail. Take the scene in which the tiny kangaroo rat realizes it's in the presence of a mighty rattlesnake and the camera zooms into the rat's eye in which we see the reflection of the snake's tail. There's even an episode with a natural calamity and God knows how Jones managed to pull that one off. Also, the show doesn't restrict itself to the wild, wild west, but also takes you to metropolitan landscapes like New York City. One of the most standout scenes from the New York City episode is the one in which ants devour a fallen hot dog on a pavement. Though we are also introduced to creatures underground, like even sewer rats, it's a little surprising that the episode veers away from pests like cockroaches, which are commonly found in these densely populated urban areas. I also feel that the show ventures into the cities to show that there's adventure around every corner. Each episode is about 20 to 25 minutes, so it doesn't entirely feel immersive. That said, the Minnesota and Washington episodes are fairly boring, but the New Hampshire one that follows a skunk pottering around a suburban neighborhood is quite funny. Now, as mentioned before, the narration and music is very much like what you'd find with a National Geographic channel or Planet Earth or even Discovery Channel. There's no deep message to the show, but it could be perfect for young children or even adults wanting to watch something different before they go to bed. But once in a while, the show does throw you some great one-liners. For example, one episode ends with the line, there's no such thing as good or evil, but rather a deep motivation for life. So if you're ready to try something different and in small doses, catch this show on Netflix. For The Print, this is Pia Krishnan Kuti. For more, visit theprint.in and do follow us on social media.